Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having a good day today and that you, your family, and loved ones are all staying safe and healthy during these difficult times. If you haven't watched the previous video in this series, please don't forget to check it out. And in case anyone's new here, this video series is an attempt for me to reach my target average speed of 120 words per minute. Alright, so let's talk about anything in this video. Uh, let's see what I want to talk about. Uh, so I think one of the subscribers made a good point, which I think others might see benefit in. <clears throat> they said that instead of actually watching my videos, they let the videos play in the background, and then they practice on their own while listening to me talk, which then kind of gives them a sense that they have a practice buddy to practice with them. Uh, I really like this idea and thought that I'd share it in case anyone else might find it useful, uh, but do whatever you want while watching my video. Uh, so also, if the audio is off, let me know because I'm still new to this microphone and I'm kind of experimenting with it to figure out how to get the best audio. So if there's any issues with the audio, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Alright, so let's get into the video a bit. Today was by far the best training day so far. I mean, I was scoring consistent 100 plus word per minute tests and even hit like a 115 words per minute test. It's honestly nice to see my average speed go up consistently throughout the past three videos, but I do want to remind myself and everyone else that not every training day will demonstrate an improvement from the previous day. So you will encounter many plateaus along the way and the ride will be bumpy, but in the long run, your speed should go up. There's going to be a lot of days where you want to quit training, where you want to give up and tell yourself that you'll never reach the goal you had in mind or that it is a completely far-fetched idea. I can tell you from experience that if you stick to it, things will turn out in your favor. Take it by the day and just tell yourself that you'll just get today in and then wake up the next day telling yourself the same exact thing. And remind yourself of how far you've reached. It's very important to look back and see the progress you made, but don't do this every day. Do it on a more spread out basis. Like look back a month and see how much your scores have leveled up. Sometimes we can be our worst critics, especially when we focus on short-term progress because we start disregarding all the effort that we put into the journey and how far we went in terms of like self-development and instead focus on like the few negatives that happened very recently. One of my goals throughout this series is to show my viewers that the growth in this journey is not linear, that you will encounter bad days where you feel like quitting and submitting to your feelings but that if you actually stick with the consistent practice, that you will overcome these short-term hurdles and improve over a long-term scale. And this con concept applies everywhere in life, not just in typing. For instance, when you try to improve your overall physical fitness, you'll reach points where your lifts become weaker or stall for a few weeks. But if you can pinpoint what exactly is causing you to not progress, you can apply that knowledge and push yourself to newer limits. It might be that your diet is off. It might be that you're not working out consistently. It might be that your form is off. It might even be that your body is worn out and needs a break. Trust me, that's actually a valid possibility and is honestly applicable to many aspects of life. Sometimes we need to step back and put things off for a little for our mental health and so that we can reassess the situation. Are we moving in the trajectory that we had imagined? What could be done better? Is this even what I want? Etc. The reality of the matter is that nobody knows what you want except for you, so it is very important to constantly keep yourself in check and focus on the bigger scheme of things. Alright, so I think that might be enough motivation talk for today. Uh, getting back to the video, I think one of the best things you can do while trying to improve is treating the journey as a constantly running game where you want to improve each time. You want to land a better score. You want to have a higher average score. And that drive is what pushes you forward beyond your own expectations. However, do note that this doesn't necessarily work for all levels. And I'd argue that it could be very detrimental when someone is first starting out and has like a speed under 60 words per minute or so. Here's why I think that's the case. So when a person has a speed under 60 words per minute, there's a lot of things that could be possibly affecting their score. They may not know certain character placements and still have to look at the keyboard. Uh, they may know all the character placements, but they still haven't built the speed for recognizing where they are in real time. Like if I need to type out the character A, but my brain wastes like three or four seconds trying to remember where the character A was, by default, I've lowered my word per minute speed because of those lost seconds. And the more characters there are like that, the more time there is wasted. Uh, they could also have built bad habits such as using improper finger placements, or they could even be using the wrong fingers for certain keystrokes. 
there's a lot that could be going wrong. And the reason I think focusing on getting a better words per minute score each time this early is bad is because I think it will only amplify your weaknesses and wrong strategies in, in turn that will turn them into bad habits, which is not something that you want to do. Instead, your main focus at this point should be on two things. One, accuracy, and two, proper technique. Once you get comfortable with those, your speed should naturally go up as a result of staying consistent throughout the process of mastering fundamentals. It kind of reminds me of like speed cubing for those who speed cube. A lot of people pick up a lot of bad and inefficient ways to perform certain algorithms toward the start and by quickly focusing on speed they essentially set those bad habits in stone and it becomes difficult to reverse their muscles into not doing them and doing things correctly later on. Uh, this is exactly similar to how it is when it comes to typing. If you practice with bad form and try to build speed fast with that bad form, you'll end up setting that bad form in stone which may come to haunt you later on when you're trying to reach even higher speeds. Uh, so if there's one thing that I could recommend for my viewers, it's that you take things steadily. Focus on the accuracy right now and the speed will come later. Look for strategies to make things easier on yourself. It's a learning process as much as it is a practicing process because if you're practicing what you already know and not learning anything new, then your speed will be cut off at the limitations of your own learning. So push yourself to keep learning new strategies and practicing implementing them and you'll soon shatter your own expectations. Uh, that, wraps, that wraps it up for this video. If you do like this content and find it useful, please don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you want to be notified of future content, please hit the notification bell as that will tell you exactly when I make any upload. That said, I'll see you guys in the next video and until next time, take care.